and welcome to another edition of Highways Presents with me, Dominic Brown, editor of Highways Magazine. In this video, I'm joined by Steve Hanks, Asset Management Sales Director of Think Project. With over 30 years experience in this market, Steve is helping lead Think Project and its RAM asset management software into the UK market after it basically conquered all before it in New Zealand. It's become the national standard for highways. It's also very successful in Australia and the Pacific Islands for multiple asset classes. The software has a whole host of benefits and Steve gives us a succinct brief on, on all of these, including enhanced visualization aspects such as 3D BIM modeling, the capability to remove the need to go on site for certain inspections through its visualization. It also, interestingly, has the capacity to be overlaid with other elements, including contract management. So you can see there already the kind of benefits it can bring with efficiencies and transparency. In short, it's a powerful system and we get a really useful insight into its range of benefits. Steve also gives us his assessment of aspects of the UK uh, market and what the future holds, including a little debate between the two of us on whether the future will look more like a smartphone or an enzyme. And I'll let you decide how on earth we got onto that. For a sector that is increasingly being managed and monitored by digital dashboard and modeled by asset management software, this video and Steve's insights could not be more timely. In fact, they're probably just a little bit ahead of the curve. Enjoy. So Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. Really, really great to have you on Highways Presents. To start off with a, a kind of general question, what should every highway authority know about Think Project and your asset management solution, RAM? Thanks, Tommy. I really appreciate your, your time for allowing us to be here. So um, Think Project is Europe's largest supplier of SaaS or cloud software um, to the construction and infrastructure industry. We deliver solutions to over 3,250 organizations with over uh, 300,000 users. So uh, a large organization, very established in our industry and very successful providing those solutions to, to many, many customers. With regard to RAM, our asset management solution, they should know that it's here uh, and now available in the UK, which is quite exciting. It's a solution that's been proven and has been leading highway asset management in other geographies for over 30 years now, to the point that in those geographies, most customers won't actually consider another system. RAM has been developed with customers from client, contracting and consulting backgrounds to ensure we can truly represent not only asset management and operations, but visibly enable those data-driven decisions we hear so much about. RAM's a true representation, I believe, of the words, a picture can describe a thousand words. And ultimately that leads to faster decision-making, greater efficiencies and improved key performance indicators. Now I've been at the front of the industry for over 30 years now. Um, and until now, I hadn't experienced anything quite as easy to use, yet as obviously efficient as RAM within the UK. How come it's taken so long to enter the UK market? So this is quite a competitive market uh, around the world. And, and RAM spent its time being very specific and innovative in New Zealand, Australia, and the Pacific Islands across multiple asset classes. The business has been very busy. Um, and then was acquired by Think Project several years ago. And at that point, the opportunity arose for it to, to come into Europe and into the UK. Um, and as we discovered, is very analogous with being able to deliver innovation into the UK market. If you could just talk us through some of, some of the unique aspects of RAM and, and the technical side behind that. Yes, absolutely. So RAM uses a, a spatial or map-based primary user interface with street view embedded at its forefront. So not only does this allow immediate visualization of the current situation for assets, defects, works, and so forth, it allows fast yet simple analysis and display of data for its users. It's very easy, for example, to show dynamic spatial data views of all carriageways colored by condition data at-risk assets or overrunning works, and then save that as a live layer to be viewed later, overlaid on other data, or even shared with other systems via live URLs. RAM also uses schematic and 3D BIM models connected with asset data for easy visualization navigation. Now, 
not only does this allow us to visualize assets or together with RAM's true hierarchy model component data, it allows us to have perspective based views inside of structures, cabinets, rooms or assets from the desktop. So this allows our, our users to visualize and interrogate data in a way that they've never done before, not only speeding up the process of structural and component investigation, but avoiding unnecessary travel, fuel and the carbon impacts of having to perform those on site. A great example of this is investigative downtime for something like wind turbines, where we have to travel, we have to spend a significant amount of time within the structure and there's risk for the individuals that are performing those works. We can remove all of that by enabling that to be done live, being visualized live on the desktop. But this capability also enables RAM to enter operations earlier in the infrastructure life cycles and make use of that BIM and additional data just traditionally created during the construction process. Over the years, I've seen many sets of voluminous pieces of asset data passed to an asset owner after years of project completion um, on things such as spreadsheets, for example. But for contractors, RAM is positioned to accept and use this data during the build process. That allows structured and high quality data to be captured earlier in a single platform and passed simply and quickly to the asset owner to assume operational status. So just going back to the success you've had in New Zealand and elsewhere, could you tell us about some of the achievements, some of the successes you've had there and how you think that will translate to the UK market? Will it translate directly or are you trying to break the UK market in a slightly different way? So within New Zealand, RAM has been the preferred asset management solution for over three decades now. Um, now, this is to the point that the entire country is standardized on RAM, both from the public asset owner perspective, as well as all contractors and consultants to local authorities. Now, this has enabled the adoption of a national data standard for consistent language across the sector and nationwide reporting to the government authorities, such as the Wakakatohi New Zealand Transport Agency. It provides a holistic view of publicly owned transport infrastructure and all assets associated with the road corridor, corridor across the country. In more recent years, RAM's evolved far beyond just the linear and horizontal infrastructure, and is now a market leading, leading solution for property and facilities management also. Combining the asset data and 2D schematics and 3D models that we just spoke about, but also the BIM data has completely transformed in New Zealand how vertically complex asset structures are visualized and interacted actually with. So in the UK market, we want to bring this capability to our customers. I mean, is there space for competition? Does it require everything to be on that, that one platform? Yes, there is space for competition. No, it doesn't require everything to be on a single platform. So RAM can be integrated um, across a directorate or an organization or multiple organizations into different pieces of software. So we could talk about the, the finance, applications, SAPs, the oracles of this world, etc. Um, and it's very much designed not only to be the only thing you need to be reliant upon, but a piece of that potentially complex organizational jigsaw where RAM might be um, a best practice piece of um, software within that. So my main finding really was that the UK market, it needs better visualization of that data, but it also needs simpler and not more additional data management tools to achieve it. For public asset owners, the ability to consolidate all assets under management onto one platform provides a really powerful insight into the overall asset portfolio and allows for far greater short and long-term asset management planning. Now, the UK is slightly behind other countries in this respect. Although we're moving towards multi-portfolio asset strategy with longer length life cycles, the adoption of process and technology within software has been slower than our global counterparts. Think Project are leveraging its ability to bring RAM, developed in an advanced country, into the UK to help with that aspect of the innovation and efficiency gain for industry. Another interesting aspect to Think Project and your, your offer 
is you also provide contract management solutions. How do you see the relationship between contract management and asset management? So, so indeed we do, Dominic, yes. So until recently, Think Project UK is mainly known for CMAR, which is our market leading NEC and FIDIC contract management solution. And indeed the former owners of, of CMAR were the innovators and designers of the NEC process. So we're fundamentally well positioned to be able to support that and understand that for our customers. But we've also recently introduced RAM and, and another product, Carnial, for field-based CDE and BIM navigation to join up the design, build and operate philosophy across the construction and infra infrastructure landscape. So how do these overlap? Well, if we just talk about CMAR and RAM for the moment, Think Project is the first organization in the UK to have a contract management system and an asset management system across that design, build and operate journey. So this has enabled, enabled us to consider the integration of process from contract task orders to asset works orders across CMAR and RAM. Now, if we integrate these two as a digital process, we automatically and immediately create a huge efficiency within an organization, but across organizations also. Certainly something I think the UK could benefit from by the sounds of it, but based on our, 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 our productivity and our slight propensity, dare I say, to, to, to overrun and time and, and, and money. Is that is that fair? Yes, it is fair, yeah. And and what we're ultimately discussing here um, as an outcome is the is the streamlining of contract management and asset management and the data that supports it as a piece, right? So we all know that at the moment um, and for a long time in the past, contract margins have been squeezed uh, yeah. and it's difficult, difficult for organizations to work together to ensure that they're successful with those outcomes without further squeezing those margins. So what we want to be able to do is we want to, be able to say, look, um, reflecting on the conversation we're having today, how can we make our administration and our data management much more effective? How can we work together in collaboration as, as client, as contractor and as supplier to both of those in our case? Yeah, and it's not just about cutting waste, of course. If you if you you mentioned those margins, I mean, we talked in the UK for a while about trying to create more added value in the contracts, less adversarial contracts, uh, where we're just trying to look over each other's shoulders. With the transparency, can create more trust to create more added value that people can believe in. If we look at some of the other markets, there's a huge collaboration between clients, contractors and consultants, quite often with all of them working in the same office as colleagues. Um, that just doesn't happen. We're still slightly separated here in the UK. If we can use technology to bring that together, and, and we have had challenges, right, where recent events in the world, such as the pandemic, has sought to separate us quite a lot from, from being face to face and being in the same office. but if we can use solutions like this to actually join that back together and to accelerate that collaboration, we can quickly bring those efficiencies to all of the organizations involved in this. That's something we believe that we should all work hard to achieve. Brilliant. Well, certainly wish you the best of luck on that. It sounds like this could be a real disruptor into the UK market. So it'd be fascinating to see how this develops. And uh, yeah, I do urge all of our viewers to take a look and, and see how RAM and Think Project's wider solutions can help them. So just to finish off, Steve, looking ahead to the future, wh where is asset management going to go? And I'm going to make a, a left field analogy to smartphones. We pick up our phones. We have everything I've asked for. It's simple to use and it's at my fingertips without providing additional effort for them to, to, mm. to have to use software in a difficult way and a, and a challenging way. Okay. I've got a slightly different analogy. Tell me what you think of this, okay? If the internet and digital working was like a network, spreading out, connecting everything, sharing everything, and, and subsuming everything into it, the next breakthrough could be AI which will work slightly differently, more like an enzyme that breaks things down into its component parts 
and provides people with the with automation in the in each of the little bit of mechanics of the work what do you think so i think i think ai and intelligence within in software and data has a place but actually what we really need to be careful of is we don't distract ourselves we still need to make human decisions we still need to be focused without an over-reliance on, on AI that takes away from that in the engineering aspect, but also in the human aspect of the work we deliver into our employers. And a very good way to end. You must never forget that at the end of all of this process, all of these different processes and complexities and calculations and algorithms is a, is a community that wants, you know, homes being built and the roads that connect that and, and a community expanding. Um, so that the people in it can live live good lives. Brilliant. Well, it was fascinating talking to you, Steve. I didn't necessarily uh, expect to get onto AI, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad I crowbarred it in there because it's really interesting to hear your thoughts. Um, I'd just like to recommend to everyone watching this, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do stay to the end of the video where you'll be able to pick up some contact details for Think Project, Steve, and you can find out about RAM, take it for a test drive, have a look. I'm sure you'll be impressed with some of the some of the breakthroughs that they can provide you. Um, just want to say thank you very much for listening. And as always, safe journeys, everyone.